When we look at the upper moons in Demon Slayer, it's important to remember that they're not just mindless monsters. Many of them still retain their human side. Let's take a closer look. Kokushibo, the upper moon one, had a surprisingly good report with Muzan. He remained open and unbothered by Muzan's ability to read his mind. Kokushibo's loyalty to Muzan was unwavering, and he never had any intention of betraying him. Despite being a demon, he still valued his sword skills that he had developed as a human. He took pride in them and welcomed challenges to maintain his position as the upper moon one. As for Doma, he may have been a monster, but he didn't completely lose touch with his humanity. When he witnessed his followers facing various predicaments and going through different life situations such as love and tragedy, he couldn't help but wonder what it would be like to experience those human emotions. He desired to feel something and find meaning in his life, even as a demon. Akaza, on the other hand, had a peculiar relationship with humans. Unlike most demons, he enjoyed conversing with humans and would often engage in long discussions with people he intended to eat. This behavior stemmed from his intense loneliness, as he sought companionship and connection with others, even if it was short-lived due to his predatory nature.